Center updates. Well, it is the vernal equinox or the spring equinox. It actually occurs at 10.07 tonight, and uh, this marks the first day of spring in the northern hemisphere, first day of autumn in the southern hemisphere, and this is when the sun, uh, the center of the sun is directly above the equator, so that's why all areas of the earth receive approximately 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of darkness, uh, not necessarily on this day, but around this time within the next week or two. So from here, our days continue getting longer until we reach that peak peak day length on the summer solstice in June. High pressure at the surface here across the southeast. Very quiet conditions. Winds out of the southwest. There's a little bit of a disturbance across southeast Texas, uh, sparking off some rain down in the Gulf, but otherwise pretty quiet. And we are headed for another chilly night. Not expecting really much in the way of 30s, but low 40s for tomorrow morning. So certainly we'll be off to a cool start. Definitely still jacket weather. And of course, this comes after a few spots. Did see a light freeze this morning, but high is tomorrow returning to the 70s. So if you're not a, a fan of the cold weather, we do start our warm up tomorrow and this is uh, right near the average of 72 degrees for this time in March and dew points staying nice and low again on Wednesday. We do see that moisture increase just a little bit here for Thursday and Friday, but all in all things staying uh, pretty nice over the coming days. But in the upper levels, we do see our next disturbance arriving by Thursday into Friday. That'll be the shortwave trough pushing across and that'll bring us a chance for rain in that time frame. And then we see some reaching building for the weekend, but then this major trough taking shape next week, and that is going to send uh, some showers and storms our way for Monday and Tuesday. So for tonight, we do see those clouds increase. So on Wednesday, uh, partly cloudy to partly sunny, and we'll have quite a bit more cloud cover tomorrow, but staying dry going into Thursday, it looks like rain starts to push in uh, by sometime uh, during the morning hours, continuing off and on into Thursday night. This system has really slowed down, uh, so this uh, may uh, the rain looks like it's going to linger into about the first part of Friday before we see that clear out uh, before uh, uh, we head into Friday evening. So from Thursday to Friday, it looks like a lot of us now with this slower movement of the system could see one to two inches of rainfall during this time frame. A few storms will be possible. There is a low and severe threat, but that's expected to stay mostly uh, near that I-10 corridor and just off the coast. So there is a level one out for the Lake Charles area here. A little sliver of Beauregard Parish. That's for Thursday into Friday morning. All in all, showers with a few thunderstorms expected for most of Senlaw. So a pretty nice day Wednesday. Won't be as clear as it was today, but still nice with those low 40s early on. Up to about 65 tomorrow by lunchtime, though. By 5 o'clock, we're at about 70 degrees with light winds out of the south tomorrow at less than 10 miles per hour. So looking at that extended forecast, we've got pleasant conditions for Wednesday. Thursday morning, we're waking up with temperatures in the upper 40s. Highs on Thursday only in the 60s. And again, we will be looking at showers on and off from Thursday into early Friday. It looks like by Friday evening, things start to clear out as that drier air filters in. And that'll lead to a beautiful Saturday. Highs in the low 70s with sunshine. Sunday, uh, we do see mid 70s. Clouds increasing by the afternoon there. And then another system headed our way for Monday, Tuesday of next week. Showers and thunderstorms there uh, to start off the next.